A new collaborative project will be showcased on March 2nd through the 4th at La Esquina Gallery in Kansas City's West Side. One of the organizations involved is Gilda's Club Kansas City, and that's where we are today with Executive Director Siobhan McLaughlin Leslie. Siobhan, thank you so much for having us here today. Well, thanks for coming. We're very excited to share word about Collective, our stories of cancer. And can you give us a little bit of context about the project by telling us first about Gilda's Club Kansas City and that way we can talk about how this project all came together. Sure, sure. Our vision at Gilda's Club Kansas City is so that no one faces cancer alone. So we accomplish that by providing educational workshops like what to expect in clinical trials or what is metastatic disease or how to maneuver the so social security disability system. Mm. We also provide healthy lifestyle classes like cooking for chemo or gentle Tai Chi, guided relaxation. We also provide resource and referral if people need transportation to their services or maybe they need some hard goods like a walker or a special bed or equipment. We try to help with resource and referral in that way. The third part of our program is counseling and group mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. And then the last part is community. So this five part program, um, which is pretty broad and deep, is provided to anyone with any cancer impact. So that might be someone with a cancer diagnosis, their caretaker, or their family. We have a very active kid support program that takes place over the summer. And we have a program throughout the year called Families Connect that help parents and families with uh, understanding more about cancer. And most, if not all, of the services are free, correct? All of the services okay. here are free. So we are part of a national, of a national group called the Cancer Support Community. My board of directors pays the affiliate fee for that. So all of the money that's raised locally stays local. Mm. Uh, last year, 2017, we served just over 1,500 individuals. Oh my goodness. And it's my understanding that the stories of some of the individuals that Gilda's Club Kansas City serves are the inspiration for the project that's coming up. Yes, we refer to the, the people we serve as members mm -hmm. um, because Gilda Radner said having cancer gave her membership to an elite mm -hmm. club. So whether it's someone with a cancer diagnosis or their caretaker. So um, poet Jen Harris interviewed about 15 people from our community who stepped forward and wanted to share their story. And then she's sort of woven these into 11 different pieces. Um, a couple are poems, a couple are spoken word pieces. One is actually a song. And then laid over that story is an original score composed by Stacy Bush. And so some, most, of the, most of the pieces have music. I've mentioned one is a cappella, And then layered over that is a component of dance. And so Owen Cox, Jen Owen, is doing all of the choreography. And dancers from the Owen Cox dance group are performing. And actually, the daughter of uh, a gentleman who was in our community and passed on is going to be dancing as well. So it truly is a collaboration of spoken word, music, and dance. And it's at Charlotte Street Foundation's La Esquina location. Yes, Charlotte Street stepped forward and was our first supporter. Um, thought it was a great concept, and so we moved forward with it. And they're supporting us in addition to, with um, some marketing support, technical support, and then of course their La Esquina uh, performance space for free. And what do you? What was the hope when you were all uh, developing the project that audience members or people that you want to come see? What is your hope that they come away with after seeing a performance? I think art touches people in a very, very special way. And so we are hoping that the participants in this project and the audience members will get a sense, one, the incidence of cancer in our community. In, in today's time, one in two men, 
one in three women will receive a cancer diagnosis in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer that whispered word of something that someone else has and you don't talk about it. It's something we want that conversation about cancer to be elevated and, and open. The second thing we really hope to accomplish with the performance is to have an understanding of the importance of education and support in helping one with a cancer diagnosis and through a cancer diagnosis. After all, you know, Gilda seized the day to live well with cancer and through cancer, and we want everyone with a cancer diagnosis to do the same. Siobhan, you mentioned Gilda Radner. So Gilda's Club was started by Jean Wilder and Joanna Boll in Gilda Radner's honor. Um, the very first Gilda's Club was started in New York in Soho, had a red door, sign of being warm and welcoming. And if you come and take the tour, you get to see the red doors from when we were a pop-up Gilda's Club. And of course, our front door is red as well. So if people want to find out more about Gilda's Club, um, or if they want to purchase tickets for the performances March 2nd through the 4th, where's the best place to go? Sure. To find out more information about Gilda's Club, go to gildasclubkc.org. That's our uh, web page and has all of our programming, fundraising, social activities on there. Or you can call 816-531-5444. Now, to get tickets to Collective, our Stories of Cancer, March 2nd through the 4th, the best place to go is owencox.org, and right on their homepage is uh, some information about Collective, and you just click on the, on the link, and you can buy $20 adult or $10 student tickets. Siobhan, thank you so much for having us here and for taking time to talk to us about the event. Consuelo, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. The Neighborhood Tourist Development Fund supports local nonprofits that bring cultural, social, educational, and recreational activities to our area. To learn about additional upcoming events, visit kcmo.gov slash ntdf.